So, having <coughs> trued the wheel laterally and centred the rim between the flanges, that is called dishing, I have turned each nipple by a half turn all the way around. So now I'm going to check the spoke tension. And at the beginning I was saying I want to take it to about 22. So you can see there I'm at about 20. And if I check some other ones and see It's kind of the same. So at this point, before I go any further, I'm going to do what's called stress relief. And this method comes from Sheldon Brown's wheel building pages. And I'm going to use spanner because it's got this spongy bit. So I'm going to place it there. And then place a little bit of pressure, not a whole lot. There. So I press one spoke against the other. And then I'm going to continue with that all the way around. Just a slight squeeze. There. And the purpose of this is to kind of pre-stretch the spokes. If any of you are musicians and you, uh, you play guitar or stringed instrument, <coughs> when I get new strings for my guitar, what I do is to stretch them. Once I've tuned them, I kind of slap them onto the fretboard and it goes slightly out of tune. And I slap it again and eventually it stays in tune. So that's kind of what I'm doing here, stretching it. So that when you get to riding on the road, they'll be staying in tune, as it were. 